Hey guys! In this video, we're going to show you how we fixed our water pump for $8 instead of replacing it for $60. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I fixed our old water pump so that we can keep it as a spare. It failed on us a few weeks ago during Thanksgiving and uh, we did make a video about that. I'll leave a link to that at the end of this video. This is the old pump and I wanted to try to fix it so we could use it as a spare in the future without having to replace it. And I looked at it, the wire is connected down here and this particular one melted probably during the last few minutes that we were using it because I was trying to help Sasha finish her shower by actually holding this wire up and so I think this might be maybe salvageable but I'm going to replace it anyway. My suspicion was that the problem with the pump was the pressure switch and I had never disassembled one of these before but I figured hey it's already broken I might as well try it and I'm going to show you how I did that. First thing I had to do is remove these wires and they're actually really stuck in there. So I ended up using some pliers and I just worked it out. I wasn't able to get it with my fingers so I had to use the pliers. And you can see this wire melted. Not too bad. Boy that airplane is noisy. Right now I'm trying to record this video and we have some airplanes flying in circles around us. So I apologize ahead of time for the noise in this video. But it's a really windy day out so I'm kind of trapped inside the camper to record this and the airplane has been circling us for like a half an hour. So the next thing that I did was remove the this pressure switch assembly which is just held on with these three screws. A lot of these SureFlow pumps are pretty much the same design. They have different shapes and sizes different components but what I've found through research online is that most of these pumps use not not the same switch but a very similar switch that instead of having to replace the whole pump you can just replace the switch now they do sell these as a switch replacement kit which comes with the entire switch assembly as well as a new wire but I know that this is just a plain old wire it's probably 14 gauge 16 gauge something like that. I have plenty of that I can make a new wire and instead of spending the like 20 or 30 dollars for an official uh, replacement kit I figured I would just see if I could figure it out myself. So I take these screws apart. Now I did already disassemble this once and you can see in here there's this little clip and what I did to get the other side off was I used my knife I pushed in through this edge here and I just I just kind of compressed this other side. The way this works is that there's a diaphragm in here that when it reaches a particular pressure it pops out. So this thing it comes apart like this and then I already disassembled it. This plunger right here rests against this diaphragm and when this pushes out it clicks down on here and it depresses this little micro switch and what I realized is that this switch comes out here I'm going to pull the spring out here I was able to pry this switch out there's a screw hole uh, there's a rivet hole on the side that I'm able to get my knife in and I just pried this out and I was able to see that this is a standardized micro switch see if it'll focus it's by Omron I'm familiar with Omron making blood pressure cuffs so I just I looked this up on Amazon and popped right up and there was a two pack available and I figured hey I'll just buy two that way I have a spare because I bought two identical pumps one for a spare and then this is the old one I got them in the mail we picked them up uh, at a local little delivery shop so this is the new one and, and my suspicion is that this switch just wore out and actually I can feel the difference. I don't know if you can hear the hear the difference in it. The spring on this is, is barely functioning. Um, but what I really think it is and I might disassemble it just to see is that the contact inside after I don't know 10 or 20,000 cycles it it burns out. So all I'm going to do now is reinstall the new one in the exact same position. I'm just going to install it in here. Just going to push it in, done. 
This is the pressure adjustment. I never touched that. I'm going to put that back in, put that back in, put that like that. And then this goes back over the top. I should just click back together. Good. While opening this, no water came out or anything like that. So I didn't actually have to open the pump up. And granted, there's many things that can cause a pump to fail. But from what I've been researching, this is a very, very common issue. Long screw goes back over here. Two short screws go here. I do love my Leatherman. The whole camper is rocking from the wind. Extremely windy today. It's uh, gusts of 30 to 40 miles an hour. Our chairs were blowing over and dust and it's pretty crazy here today. I'm gonna snug this up. When I took it apart initially, they were pretty tight. This is only gonna be our spare. So if this other one fails for any reason, I'll have something that I can just put back in place quickly. But I'm, I'm not gonna put this back into long-term service. It's already got a year and a half on it of pretty much full-time use. The, the pump itself, the motor, and the pump assembly was fine. It was just the switch wasn't working. I'm gonna just connect the old bad wire. I'll replace that in the near future. The issue that I had last time was that the pump wouldn't come on at all. I just want this pump as a spare in case the, the new one fails at some point, which I'm sure it will in the next year or so. So I'm gonna just see if it spins over and if it does, we're in good shape. I'm gonna clip these off. These are old butt connectors that are covered in tape. Conveniently, I have this 12 volt outlet right here. So this is like your traditional cigarette lighter. The center pin is positive, the outside is ground. So I'm gonna use red to the center and this is gonna be my ground. So let's just see if it spins. Look at that. <laughs> I actually just pumped a bunch of water out. Whoops. So that's all that was. That was uh, this two pack. This two pack cost about $8. So that means they're $4 a switch. And the pump itself was 60. Now I have a perfectly good spare pump that I can keep on hand. I can understand why this would wear out. It cycles nonstop. Like I think about when we trickle the water the pump goes like bam, 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 bam. That means click, 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 click. So I don't know what the cycle life on these is, but uh, it's gonna be pretty high. And I, I expected this pump to have some complicated pressure sensing system in it, but it's just a diaphragm with a spring and a little switch. So I'd, I'd like to actually pop this apart and see what failed in it. I'm gonna guess that it's covered in black soot from the arcing of the off and on, off and on, off and on. So anyways, if you guys have a similar pump, this is a, a Shoreflow 4008-101-A65. They're pretty much all identical. The motors themselves last for decades, literally. I do know that the, the diaphragm system in here for the pump, they have rebuild kits for them and uh, it's a pretty simple system. There's a lot of videos on YouTube on how to repair that, but I didn't really see too much about just a particular switch. Of course, you can buy the whole switch assembly and just replace it. I didn't really feel like that was necessary. I didn't want to spend 20 something dollars for a wire and a piece of plastic when it's really just the switch inside that failed. So I'm, I'm quite happy with that. This was an easy fix. And that's all I wanted to show you in this video is just a quick, easy way to fix the pump. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, and I'll see you in the next video. Birds are weird. They're like flying mice. They're small. Some of them are big. They go up and down in the sky. Isn't it crazy? Uh -huh. <laughs> you think I'm crazy? A little bit. No. It's a good way. <laughs>